what's up you guys this is Rob from Gay Guy Plays and today on the Daily Grind we are going to be revisiting Warframe like the whole thing the entirety of it well okay not necessarily the entirety of it but just the game in general and I know that this is a weird topic to talk about but it's mainly come from the fact that I had recently played XCOM 2 The Long War 2. It's it's weird to say because XCOM 2 The Long War, but it's not The Long War 1, it's The Long War 2 to go along with it. Long story. But um, I figured that I would go ahead and kind of share my thoughts and feelings because as some of you may have known from previous videos, I had mentioned it. Um, and while I loved it, it was a tragic romance. <laughs> And I kind of wanted to talk about my relationship with Warframe. So I'm going to give you guys a heads up right now. If there are any of those of you out there who, you know, like Rob's a DE shill or Rob always white knights for DED, so where he just sucks DE's dick and it's like, you know, all of this hullabaloo. Um, this video is probably just going to reinforce that. So if you don't actually want to watch this video, you don't have to. But. Honestly, after playing um, the, lo the Long War, the Long War, the XCOM the Long War 2, I kind of, I, I kind of looked at games in general and like really figured out what it is that I love and what I felt about them. As you can see, I'm doing the sortie. This is Spy Mission. I know it's Loki. We always play Loki, but we will be switching it up for the next mission, which I believe is Mobile Defense, just because I know. You gotta be as tired of seeing him as I am, not necessarily of using him, but of putting him in videos, and I'm sorry, my nose is itchy over and over and over again. Let's, let's do this. Um, and please, like, if I fail, don't, <laughs> don't judge me. Don't judge me on this. It's electromagnetic vortexes. What can you expect? Like, literally, it's like sucking me from all different directions, and it's, it's not a good feeling. Um, but anyway, so, I, as many of you guys know, oh, it's like reduced, it's like reduced gravity as well. Ugh, boo, this is not fun. Um, so, as many of you guys know, I had played uh, Long War 2 recently. For those who don't know what it is, it's kind of like this, um, it's like this tactical game where, you know, you use soldiers and you, like, hunt aliens and all of that kind of hullabaloo. And what pretty much happens with it... God, I don't remember. I kind of remember how to do this. Eek. Um, what pretty much happens in it is it's like a tactical game, and it's fairly hardcore. Like, you can get killed pretty goddamn easily, and as many, I, I don't know if you guys know, but for me, I don't like losing soldiers in those kind of tactical games. In XCOM 2, you can legit just lose a soldier and they will die and they'll be dead forever. And because of the fact that I spent a long time customizing those soldiers and getting really attached to freaking uh, Rebecca and Megan, Megan always, like, she dies a lot. I'm gonna tell you that right now. She dies a lot in that fucking game. Um, but yeah, those soldiers... I get really, really attached to it, and I'm like, well, I can't, I don't, I don't want them to, like, die. I can't have you die. So it's really, really hard to have perfect runs where people don't die. Um, and that is on, and that is on, like, the normal, that is just on normal standard runs. That's not even on anything special runs. It's not difficulty runs. There are other runs where legit, um, they're called, like, Iron Man runs. And basically what ends up happening is, uh, it will, be it saves after every single turn. So you cannot take back a turn. There's no way for you to take back turns. And I'm like, motherfucker. <laughs> it only gets harder from here. There's no way to make it easier. So I started playing that and I will tell you, I, I, I became obsessed. Like I was like, I have to play this game. I have to win. And legitimately I was there like for more than 12 hours just locked in, just locked into that game and really, really committed to it. And I started thinking in my head, is this a bad thing or is this a good thing? You know, I'm really, really, really engaged. So that's that's a great that's a great thing to be. However, at the same time, I am also extremely frustrated. I am also um, very like angry at this game. So this 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 is not really an amazingly happy experience. You know what I mean? And that's what really got me thinking after I finished that, because like I literally pushed myself through every single one of the missions, and I got, um, I got to a spot where I felt comfortable like letting it be. However, I kind of thought to myself, I kind of thought to myself, and I was like, well, like, is that really great? Is that um something that you cherish? And I was like, no, it's honestly like a bad relationship. 
which really got me thinking of my relationship with Warframe in terms of relationships. So uh, let's let's begin. With Warframe, for me, it's very quick and easy. You can jump in, you can jump out. It's it's not it's not a heavy commitment, but it's something that I will always come back to. So that's already like a big plus because it doesn't feel like a commitment. It just feels like you're doing something that you enjoy without, you know, kicking yourself in the ass to get everything done. Yeah, there are annoying things in Warframe. There are definitely things that annoy me. Like, I don't know if you guys saw recently, there was a sortie that I recorded and the very, very ending of me was of it was basically, you know, like I had run out of time. The, that was the end of the sortie. However, um, freaking Vaycor Heck did not spawn. Or, yeah, Vaycor Heck did not spawn. So legitimately, it ran out of time. I did not have enough time to, to go back through the sortie and play it again and like win it and all that kind of stuff. And those kind of things are annoyances, but they're not necessarily like deal breakers. You know what I mean? They don't necessarily make me think oh my god this is the most terrible game on earth you know it doesn't it doesn't drive me nuts because you know i do spend a lot of time watching like gaming news and all that kind of stuff and i've seen some fucked up shit that development teams have done like there are development teams that are literally walked away from their game to produce more like money making dlc or there are just you know there are just developers that refuse to listen to their to their community period are you effing kidding me you're kidding me, right? This is- Oh, this is bullshit. That was just straight up- You know what? This just- It's all bullshit. This is all bullshit. I have 13 seconds. It's fine. It is fine. You're- You're bullshit. You're bull- All of this is bullshit. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> um, but yeah. So Warframe for me has always been really easy. And even though they do change, I always feel like they change and evolve for the better. Maybe not everything is 100% perfect, but they've never ever done anything to the game that has made the game so completely unfamiliar. You know, it's like, it's like you come home to your boyfriend, right? And he's got a different haircut and you don't necessarily like that haircut. You're like, it's kind of weird, but he really, really likes it and he really enjoys it. So, you know, who is it for me to like control him and tell him what he can put on his hair or not? And that's the same thing with like Warframe. They do some weird shit sometimes. As you guys know, I've been very vocal about, you know, I don't necessarily like the newest things with Arcwing. Um, well, when it comes to like the controls, you know, it's not my favorite change in the world, but I still play it, I still enjoy it. Um, and I can see what they were trying to do didn't quite work for them. It was kind of like that bad haircut. <laughs> it was like, mm, I don't know how I feel about that haircut. But, you know, hey, if this is something you want to explore, <laughs> let's go down that road. Um, the only thing the only thing that's really ever frustrating is sometimes, I don't know, when, when, when there's not enough communication. And I think that that's one of my biggest things with, with Warframe is sometimes, you know, there isn't always all of the communication in the world, but that's just basically like a relationship, right? It's like exactly what I was saying. It was like, sometimes you have miscommunications with the person you're involved with, yada, yada, yada. And that's kind of how I feel, you know, with Warframe occasionally. Sometimes they're not the best at communicating, but that doesn't also mean that they don't mean well. So... When, when it got me thinking about kind of like the Long War 2 and all of that hullabaloo, I was like, man, I literally sat there all fucking day and all fucking night trying to figure out how, what, what I was supposed to do to make this game okay with me. Like, legitimately, there were times where the game was saying, you have a 50% chance to do this. I'm like, I have a 50% chance. So I do it once, I fail. I reload the game, I do it twice, you know, I've moved my characters into different places, taking different angles, still says you've got a 50% chance, oh, I fail. I, I did that same hack, it was a hack, okay you guys, there's like a hack in the game, you're supposed to hack something, and it said you had a 56% chance, 56% chance, I did it a total of 20 times. Because I became obsessed and crazy as if I was in a motherfucking terrible relationship. You know how you're like, you're like, look at, looking at their text. You're like, well, what did they mean when they said that? Did they really mean what they said when they said that? And that's how I felt about the Long War 2. I'm like, 56%. Does he really mean 56%? Or is he just telling me 56% to feel alright with this situation? And then when I don't get it, and then when I don't get it, then I'm like, oh, well, where it must have been the 44%, you know, must have been the 44%. But no, I did that shit 20 times in 20 times. I know, I know that, you know, you still have a 44% chance to fail, 
But in 20 times, you would have thought at least one. At least one of those would have been I. But honestly, that shit was a lie. That shit was a motherfucking lie. And so I was like, no, I don't I don't believe this. This is a bad relationship. You are you're not just communicating. You're actively lying to me. Oh no, fuck. I will just go this way. Oh, I hate going this way. Heep! 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 <laughs> don't, don't hold me to that noise. Let's pretend that noise never happened. Let's uh pretend that was not a thing. <laughs> Okay, no, 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 no noise, no noise, no noise. Okay, where the fuck am I supposed to go with this? Oh yes. Yee, yee. <laughs> I always forget this one. I never know where I'm going. I never know where I'm going. Okay, we're gonna sit here for a minute. <laughs> I'm going to sit here for a minute as I scratch my nose and I wipe the tears from my eyes. Um, no, so when I thought about that, I was like, God, it's so, this game is so frustrating, but it's so addictive. And that's how, exactly how I felt in a previous relationship. Like, I love, I wanted that relationship to work so bad and I was so frustrated and I, I, I gave every single part of me to like make that work like legitimately. I did not go to sleep until about 7 a.m. that day. 7 a.m. the next day. Well, technically, I I, let, I stopped playing the game at 6, and then I decided to go to bed at 7. So I was just, like, super hung up, and I, I completely forgot that that's how other games can be sometimes. Because with Warframe, and I know it sounds like I'm sitting their dick, but legitimately, and you know, it's all right. It's all right. Because it's a good relationship. I can, I can walk away and just be like, all right, well, that was fun. You know, I'll see you later. I'll talk to you later. It's, it's, it's nice and it's non super committal. I'm only with Warframe because I want to be with Warframe. Is that, is that like a really, really weird thing to say? It's like, I never feel like I have to play Warframe. It's like, he's like, I'm here for you, boo. I'm here for you, boo. You know, you want to hang out today? We can hang out today. You know, what do you want to play today? You can, you know, you, you don't have to, you don't have to do, you don't have to do the sorties if you don't want to. You want to farm some endo boo? We can farm some endo boo. And that's exactly how it feels with Warframe is like, I feel like I have all of this choice. Like, like he's very forgiving as to what, what, what our relationship is. You want to play some Arcwing boo? We can play some Arcwing boo. And I really enjoy that fact about Warframe. The fact that I can, I can stay in a mission. Like, let's say, let's pretend I want to do a really long endurance run. I can get my friends together and we can, we can organize something with like uh, Warframe synergies and we can, you know, kind of sit in there for like an hour, two hours, like however long, you know, we can, we can be in there and plant ourselves in there. We have that choice. Or do I want to be casual? Can I just be kind of like relaxed and like chilled out? Hey, I just want to do some exterminates. Oh, I just want to go to the arena like for, for two or three quick shots. It's never anything, it never feels like there's something that I have to do and that I'm going to get smashed if I don't do it. And that's how I felt with things like XCOM. I'm like, you have to do this mission. I'm like, okay, well, I'm sending people on this mission to infiltrate. Oh, but this other mission popped up. Oh my God, do I do this mission? I don't, I'm low on men, but I, it says that it's of high importance. So I'm, I'm going to do that too. All right, so I'm waiting for that to sit down and then I have to go and do this mission. And I'm like, this is, it's just too much stress. And I realized that that's not a relationship. And here's the thing, I'm gonna play XCOM 2. I'm still gonna have fun with it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pry myself away. I'm gonna try not to be so committed to it. It's like an ex-boyfriend I'm just, you know, talking to and chilling with casually, not just as a friend. You know how those go. Those pretty much go like shit. But that's kind of like how I feel about the situation is like, listen, I can only hang out with you for so long and then I need to cut it off. With Warframe, it's like, hmm. I can hang out with you for a day, I can hang out with you for 20 minutes, and I pretty much feel satisfied no matter what, really. Like, I don't really... Like, what do I want to do? What, who, who do I want to be today? And see, here's another thing. Here's another thing. I have options. Over in, like, when I was playing Long War 2, and I mean, I'm not, I don't mean to bash Long War 2, but legitimately, it's, oh, I haven't played Naros in ages. Let's play Naros. <laughs> I got it. I got excited. Let's do some melee stuff. I haven't done melee stuff in a little bit either. Um, should we just be cheesy and do knives? No, let's not be cheesy and do knives. Let's be cheesy and do something else. <laughs> let's find another way to be cheesy. Um, where do we want to go with this? Let's let's just do lesion. Let's keep it let's keep it simple, simple and clean. 
Um, Harvat, yeah, that's all good. Sure, why not? Unless this mission tells me that I can't do something. Wait, hold on. Let's find out what this is. Um, this is Mobile Defense, Xmas Stronghold. We okay. We are good. We are good. Let's just play that shit. Let's just go. I don't know. Let's go public. Um, no, so it's kind of like, it, with Warframe, you just have so much choice and so much freedom. In XCOM 2, I felt very much like, I have to have a specialist, I have to have this kind of... So I always had to keep, like, one of those players, like, free on my teams, and I was like, this is too much stress. Like, for me, Warframe is like, if I want it to be stressful, or I want to test our relationship, um, I can go and test our relationship, you know? Like, I can, I can go and I can do... I can play the harder shit, or if I just want to like leave it casual and just enjoy myself for the day, I can do that too. And that's that's something that I value because my time is very very important to me. I haven't even put on my my scarab armor or nothing. I feel really slow. I didn't realize I don't I didn't remember Anaros being this slow, but apparently he is. All right, let's go get let's get some health back. That's right, motherfucker. Sand right in your eye. Oh, can you can you move? Please? I'm trying to do shit. Jesus. Jesus. Can you... Why aren't these guys getting sandy-eyed? Hey, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> okay, good. You. Oh, that's why. Because there's a fucking Arctic Eximus over here. You piece of shit. Dead. Okay. Is there another one? No, he's just not dead. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that's kind of like one of my favorite things about Warframe is you just get all of this freedom. You don't you don't stress. You you get to enjoy yourself. You get to play a bunch of different modes. It's kind of like it's like you're with an adventurous boyfriend. You know what I mean? He's always down for like a new cool weird thing. Hey, you want to try out this weird fucked up build? Yeah, sure. I saw some shit on that. And and that's kind of like what I love. And that's what really makes me enjoy the whole the whole situation is that at no point in time do I ever feel like I'm forced- it feels almost kind of like I get to define the relationship, you know what I mean? Like, I get to tell Warframe, hey listen, we're only hanging out for this long today. I've got- I've got shit that I need to do take care of at home, so I'll see you later. It's like they're my booty call, and they're fine with it. But they're more than a booty call, because, you know, you get to- you get to build all of these cool things with Warframe's- Jesus, like, all of these fucking Arctic Eximus. Can you, like, go home? Can you go home? Yes, they can. Look at that. I still feel slow as all hell, though. I don't. <laughs> it's been a. It's been a while. It's been a while, and I just didn't realize that he was just this. Uh. <laughs> that he was this slow. Um. But no, I want. I'm. I'm curious if you guys. If number one, you guys can equate any other games you play with with relationships, because I feel the same way, kind of like with with uh, Smite. Smite's like my booty call. It's like, ooh, you got you got a new trick that you want to do. It's like, all right, we'll we'll play, and I'll I'll be obsessed for a while. You know, I'll play like a bunch of matches, and it'll never go anywhere. It'll just always be for fun. Um, but it, it never it never turns into anything more than that. Like I always, at the end of the day, I always want to come back to Warframe. This makes me sound like I'm a cheater. This is not good. <laughs> it makes me sound like I'm a terrible person. No, that's not the case. I don't run around cheating on people. Um, where's the next one? They've already moved on to the next one. My slow ass is still over here trying to dodge these Arctic Eximuses. These, this Exim I, actually, actually, and then I can't even walk right. That's fucking fantastic. Can you just not touch me? Well, that's, that's that. That's that, isn't it? That's just, that's just that. There you go. That's the jump I was looking for. Um, but yeah, so I'm curious to know what other games you guys play. Do you guys have any, like, terrible relationships with certain games that you get really obsessed with over? Like, like, League of Legends is, like, my just... My for fun thing, too. He's very much... League of Legends is very much for fun. I only ever play play him if I have the urge. Same thing with Awesome Knots. Like, Awesome Knots is, like, one of those kinky guys. That you, you know, they know your kink, you know their kink. Every now and then, when you feel like a little dirty, you go play some awesome knots. You don't, you don't tell your friends. It's not something that you tote around to a lot of people. That you run around and play awesome knots. But you know, 
but you enjoy it and they enjoy it. That game's got like a monkey that like drops balls that explode and shit. Why am I gonna say why am I gonna say no to that? No, hell no, I like that shit. <laughs> but at the end of the day, Warframe is kind of like, you know, it's 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 like a long-term commitment at the same time. I do feel like it's a long-term commitment at the same time. Because I've shared so many like I've seen it change and I've seen it evolve and it's almost kind of like it's almost kind of like this love story of like two people who've been together for like a long ass time and even though you know they're not the same person that you got with ages ago there's still there's you, you still look at them and you're like you're good you're a good person I like I like playing you I enjoy playing you I enjoy being around you I, I have fun with you every time I'm with you you make me laugh because sometimes you do some ridiculous stuff sometimes it's good ridiculous Sometimes it's like, you gonna nerf Trinity again? Like, how many times you gonna nerf Trinity? Maybe that'll be my next, maybe that'll be my next, uh, daily grind. Is we'll, we'll revisit Trinity after every single one of her million, gazillion, bajillion <laughs> nerfs. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's kind of like one of those things, it's kind of like you, it's, you, you never ever feel, at least, at least, at least in my personal, in my personal thing, even though Warframe, you can get mad at Warframe for doing some stupid shit, it's never as bad out there. It's like, it's like you watch other people, it's like you watch other people play other games, and you're like, oh, you have a fucked up relationship. Like, one of your best friends is off playing League, and that shit's just hella t or or one of your friends is playing Overwatch competitive, and you're like, listen, last time you called me, you were in a bad motherfucking mood. Last time you called me, you had some issues going on and you just needed a break. You needed to just hang out. You needed to play a different game, if you know what I mean. You needed some time away from 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 Overwatch competitive. I'm not mentioning any names, but they know who they know who they are. <laughs> um and it's one of those it, it was one of those things that's kind of like you got a bad relationship with that game. Maybe you need to take a step back and reconsider and reconsider what where you're putting your eggs in what basket you're putting your eggs. But at no point in time have I ever felt like that with Warframe, which is kind of like which is kind of great. And I mean there are I mean RNG like hey listen, I got the Axie A2 relics. I spent some time farming and you know I made the decision to buy myself the uh, Aclex Link. I was I, I feel I felt like I was pretty transparent about that, but I did some farming and I was like, you know, I think my enjoyment, I my enjoyment is worth more than my plat. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up the link. And but then again, I saw a lot of people only spent like two hours to like get their shit. Some people said I literally only used two relics and I was done. And so it's kind of like one of those things where you know RNG sucks, but it sucks when it's bad. It's great when it's good. So it's one of those things where I, I've, I've been I've been burned and I have also been shown love from RNGs. So I'm like, I right. that 56% chance, I believe that shitty 56% chance. Unlike XCOM when they give you a 56% chance and they really mean 0%. 0%. XCOM 2. <laughs> I'm sick of playing you. But I'm, I'm, I'm done with you for now. And that's pretty much my stance on like Warframe. I've just always been, it's just always been there for me when times are tough. Uh, it's always, it's always had something fun and new. It's always trying something a little bit different. You know, maybe they try a few new sex tricks in bed and you know, it ain't so pretty. But guess what? That's just how it is in a real relationship. Sometimes they try some things and you're like, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Put it back. Um, but let me know how you guys, what your relationship is with Warframe. That's, that's a big question. Like, how do you feel? Is it, is it a bad boyfriend? Is it like the Barrow Katir? <laughs> is it like how I say, Barrow Katir is just like a terrible boyfriend. You can never trust anything he says. Don't expect nothing good from Barrow Katir. Um, like, is it like that? Or have you had a pretty positive relationship with them as opposed to other games that you play? Because I've played a whole lot of games. Like, I've played a lot of games. I've played them on the side. I've played them very vocally. I've let you guys know when I've been playing them. Um, and a part of me has always been kind of like, yeah, but at the end of the day, Warframe just feels right. They just feel like, you know, at the end of the day, if you've had a bad day, they're there ready with a, a big old cup of Coke Zero and, you know, a burrito. 
both metaphorically and literally. Because <laughs> burritos are good. But anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. So as always, love somebody, hurt nobody, and touch your body. I will see you guys next time, maybe with Trinity, or you know, leave. Let me know what you th what you want to see in the comments below. Maybe if you give me a good angle to go on, we'll discuss. We'll revisit and discuss another um, Warframe. But I'm thinking maybe Trinity. She's she's been through she's been through some hard times. This this relationship with Warframe for her has been a little rough. <laughs> anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye.